Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the Black, Black Hillbillies Cooking Show. Today we're fixing something really good, and it it's real good for the fall and the winter on those cold uh, winter nights or those cool fall nights. It's some good old soup. So we're going to make garlic soup today. First, you get your pot ready and melt about a tablespoon of butter in the pot in the bottom of it. And then we're gonna do three cloves of garlic crush. Seven cloves of garlic. Sorry, seven cloves of garlic. Thank you for reminding me. Seven cloves of garlic and three cups of gold potatoes. They haven't been cooked yet, but they'll cook in the soup. All right, so what I'm doing right now, I have got my butter, when my tablespoon of butter melted, and now I'm taking the garlic and I'm gonna saute the garlic. Ooh, Just make sure that you don't have have the heat on too high. You want it on about medium heat. Ooh, that garlic and butter smells good. Mixing together in that pot. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna pour in about seven cups of water. Make sure not to burn your garlic now. Pour it in there, keep pouring it in there. All the way. That's about half. All right, so we've got all our water in, which is seven cups of water. So next what I'm gonna do is use a tablespoon of the Better Than Bouillon chicken base. This really gives it a good flavor. So we'll add that in there. And, and just, what you're doing, you're just putting this on simmer right now. I think that's about all you got in there is a tablespoon. Yeah, I've used it a lot. It's really good. It really gives it a good flavor. So we're gonna just dump that in there. Now I'm gonna tell you ladies, any of you ladies looking for a good man, make this garlic soup. And I promise you, you will have one. Just make him some good old garlic soup for the winter. And you can add a little bit more salt to it if you like it. If you like it a little bit more salty, you can always add about, I wouldn't recommend no more than about a teaspoon of salt, but it's up to you. It's, it's per taste, you know, whatever you like. If you like it real salty, if you don't like it salty, that's good too. So I'm just making sure that that bouillon gets put in there. I don't like to waste nothing. Right, so that's good too. We're gonna give us a good twirl in just a moment. All right, so what we're gonna do next is put in our three large golden potatoes. Three large golden potatoes. All right, so we've put our potatoes in there and we're gonna let that cook down on about medium heat for about 20 minutes or until the potatoes are fork tender, where you can put your fork through it. All right, y'all, I also forgot to mention too that you can get about a half a teaspoon, or about a teaspoon of caraway seed to put in this as well. You can get it at most of the grocery stores. All right, so I mentioned the cumin or caraway seed. It's not something that you have to have, but you can add it in there if you want to, but you don't have to, if your local grocery store don't carry it, you don't have to have it. So next, but it's best that you do have it. So anyway, what we're gonna do is take one egg and we're gonna beat the egg, we're gonna temper it, and then we're gonna slowly add it to the dish. So tempering the egg just basically means what we're gonna do is just, just stir it around. And then once we add it to the dish, we're gonna add it in slowly. And once you add it in, you have to do it very slowly. Because if you, if you add it all in at one time, what's gonna happen is gonna cause, you're gonna actually cause you to have big globs of egg and we don't want that. So that's not what we're looking to do. So we're gonna just, Take this off, take, take this lid off. And give us a good stir. But first, let's check our potatoes to see if they're fork tender yet. Okay. All right. 
right, so we're there. So what we're gonna do now is start adding the egg little by little. I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna have to quickly stir. I'm gonna add just a little bit to it. And we're gonna have to start stirring as soon as it goes in. Cause you already see the egg starting to get eggy there. And you do want, you do kind of want your egg to kind of come up looking stringy there. That's okay. That's that's what you want. All right. So I'm going to let that stir. Stir it up a little bit more. Sometimes I'll stir it in the opposite direction too. Make sure that the egg gets good and distributed. And I'm just going to let it sit and cook for about another 5 to 10 minutes. And then it'll be mm. done. Mm, this soup looks good. On a cold fall evening or a winter evening, you can just sit by the fireplace with this good old garlic soup, and maybe a toasted cheese sandwich and some chocolate to top it off. Really looks good, honey. Let's dig in. Mmm. And you can add cheese to it too. So if you're a cheese lover, you can use Swiss cheese or mozzarella cheese and just put it in the bottom of it. It gets really creamy. It looks really good. It looks tastes so really good, good too. <laughs> well, thank y'all for joining us here at the Black Hill Billy's Cooking Show. We're going to have more great recipes as the fall and winter rolls around. So y'all stay with us. Hey, you might even have a Halloween surprise. <laughs>